Bittrex 24 CRM tutorial for beginners, how to use Bittrex 24 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to use Bittrex CRM. So as you can see, we are right now on Bittrex24.com and you can see on the top that you can see Bittrex24, your ultimate workspace. So here you can basically enhance your collaboration, you can manage your products and projects, and also CRM. So CRM is basically a customer relationship management. So right now you can see that if you go into this collaboration tab over here, you can see different things like chats and video calls, online stuff, calendar meetings. And uh, moving on to CRM, there's a lot of other things like leads, deals, contacts, companies, system invoices, and all a whole lot of that. Then moving on, you get more things as you go on to the different tabs. So task and projects has task projects, charts, boards, sites and store has other things. So you get the point. So to start off with this, you're going to head and click on start for free to create your very own account. Then once you go into your account creation, what you're going to want to do over here is uh, you're going to come over here and uh, enter your email. Okay. And once you do this, you're going to click on register for free. Once you click on register for free, it's going to go ahead and start creating your account according to your, uh, you know, email. Now here it says your Bitrix is available. Bitrix will open in two seconds. So you're obviously going to redirect yourself to Bitrix. And once we have redirected ourselves from there, what we are going to want to do is it's going to redirect us to a place like this. Okay. Now in the start, it might be a bit confusing and you can, you know, uh, maybe not choose collaboration and sites in the start, but you can choose it later if you like, and I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. Now to start things off, it's going to give you these four different things. Okay. So first of all, they say CRM. Okay. So they say select your Bitrix 24 most used items. This will streamline your daily routine. Select the tool will show up first and the menu will include only the required items. You can edit the menu anytime you want. So you have a few things here. So first of all, you have CRM, you have automated sales, you can improve conversions and communicate with customers. Then you have tasks and projects, work together and stay on schedule to be work made easy. You have collaboration where you can communicate and collaborate and revolve issues in no time. And then finally, you have sites where you can create beautiful sites that sell with no coding skills required. So Obviously, you're going to go with one of these and whatever feels best, you should choose that. Once you do that, you can click on confirm. I'm just going to click on I'll decide later. Once you do that, you're going to see your dashboard and over here you can see different feeds. So you can see what is uh, shown. Just assume that you have so many members in your company and you have added them over here in this uh, Bitrex website and whatever they are going to do in their project and in their work, it will be updated over here like automatically so you don't need to do anything it's like a facebook thing where people are going to do or whatever they're going to do in your friend zone that will update right in your news feed uh, it's all the same thing and uh, basically first of all you're going to invite your team members okay so how will we invite our team members on the left hand side over here you have invite users so you can either use this or come to the top right click on invite and once you click on invite uh, you're going to choose how many employees. So click on invite again. Once you click on invite again, you can either invite them using copying this link, or you can add in their emails by going on bulk invitation, add a list of their emails and stuff. You can add a single user as well, add a whole department. If you want to add extranet users, add via email or phone number, or the easiest way, in my opinion, is just adding them using the link. You're going to send them the link. They're going to click on the link and they're going to be redirected to your, um, you know, Bitrix. Now, moving on, basically what we're also going to talk about is the vast amount of features. So on the left hand side, you have a lot of things over here, right? So you have chats and calls, calendar, online documents, etc. So let's head over to chats and calls, first of all. In chats and fall, you can find your employees over here. So you will find them uh, in these lists. And if you click over here, you can just, uh, you know, tell them not to disturb or you're away or you're online. And you can just go ahead and uh, click on your own name to load up any type of messages. You can also create messages with different people of your, uh, you know, working audience. You can start a personal chat, private chat, public chat 
or even in uh, a high definition video conference just like Google Meet or Zoom. And then moving on, you can change multiple things, settings and notifications, and you can set channels and add phone calls the way you want. But obviously, you're going to do that when you have users. Without the users, you will not be able to do that for yourself. And as you can see over create, you can do all these things, personal, private, public, HD video call, invite someone to chat with you and a whole lot more. Moving on, if I am to go back to my dashboard over here on the left hand side, Another important thing is your tasks and projects, okay? The task and project section is where you can create tasks and, you know, tell people to do them. So let's say I'm going to come here and task creation. Now, first of all, you're going to enter your task name. So let's say I'm going to call it things to do, okay? Once you've chosen that, you're going to go ahead and add different things in the checklist down here. So that obviously depends on whatever kind of working you want to go with. And the checklist depends on, you know, uh, as I stated, whatever type of working you want to go with. And uh, you can add responsible persons, you can add different files, create documents, you can add a deadline for people. And moving on, you can add this task and create another one if you want to as well. Uh, you can create different types of documents for yourself, add mentions, add different quotes, same with files. And it's really simple and really easy stuff. And then moving on, the more fun thing about this is that you can add more people for participation. Task summary can be given. Then there's also different things that you can add in the project, including CRM, Gantt chart, subtasks, and a whole lot more things. So it's really easy to work around Bitrix 24 with its uh, great features. And uh, trust me, these features are a piece of cake to get around. Like the user interface is so fun and so easy to just have a general output of so i'm going to add this task over here and as you can see there you can go things to do task has been added and the responsible person and created by all of those things are added so obviously this is a very uh you could say important part of your you know editorial and working thing now moving on uh, over here on the right hand side you can also get a whole lot of other things including automations and stuff or you can add new automated tasks if you want to you can group tasks differently then also there's projects obviously we were on tasks right now but you also have projects where you can create different uh, analytics for projects different workings for projects and a whole lot more so this is also a very great place to be in now moving on when it comes to you know adding things in projects uh, i'm gonna go ahead click on next choose any name for your description let's say i'm gonna go with that click on next again then you have three different things public private and hidden so i'm gonna keep it public right now and i'm gonna bring it here i'm gonna click on next again and as you can see it gives us a notification sound as well you can add a company structure over here you can send messages in this project and uh, you can work with this however you want, however your CRM is supposed to work. And yeah, that's basically how we are going to be using Bitrix 24 for ourselves. It's really simple with vast amount of features that you can use for a great leading CRM platform with great leads and great meetings and great projects. So please do make sure to try this product out for yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's about it. Thank you for watching till the end, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.